So there's this thing, right? It's uh, like an AI thing. It's called Chat GBT. If you haven't heard of it, you've got to hear about it because it is like the thing right now that everybody's talking about. It's a bit scary because I remember watching The Terminator. I remember watching The Matrix and sort of going, huh, I wonder if there's a sense of reality to this AI thing. And you almost wonder that there's all these people out there, these tech geeks out there, that have gone and developed these platforms that are using elements of AI. Now, whether this AI is like fully aware and fully sentient, no, no, we're not, we're not there yet. And who knows whether we even will get there, but I'm sure these people have watched these movies and it hasn't crossed their mind that this thing could go really badly wrong if AI does become a little bit more aware. That would be quite scary. What is ChatGBT, you ask? Well, essentially it's an AI language model developed by this thing called OpenAI, and it's trained on a diverse range of internet text, right? So it's essentially gone out to the internet, it's found all this information, and then it uses all of this like deep learning technologies to generate human-like responses based on your input, based on you going into your keyboard, putting in a specific command or a specific thing, write me a song, write me a story, write me a story about the moon set in 1930. It'll do that. It's crazy. It's almost like you're having an interaction, but you can't really differentiate between this thing that you're talking to and a real person because it is so real. It can answer your questions, it can provide you information, it can generate text. I, of course, work in tech. And how can this help me in my technology? Well, I've started asking it questions about technology. Explain me what a proxy is in two-year-old language. What's some other things that you could be using ChatGBT for? Embed it into a website, into an application, and then when somebody has some troubleshooting that they need, some help, ChatGBT could be the person on the other end, or the, not the person, the AI on the other end, answering all of those questions. One thing that is amazing, and, and you've got to think about people who write books, who write articles, people in the press, in the media, it could write articles for you. Try this out. Write me a news report that is 100 words on the topic of this set in this time in this fictional universe. You could use it as your own personal assistant. I mean, that's something that I've used it for and you could use it for yourself for all types of things. Using it for your own research, for your own development, for your own improvement in your home stuff, in your work stuff, in your language learning. And it's only the beginning. It's only gonna get smarter. It's only gonna get smarter. It's only gonna get smarter. There's gonna be a new iteration. And then after that one goes on for a little while, there'll then be a new one. So let's check it out in action. Opening up our Google machine, we're gonna type in chat GPT. And here it is, optimizing language models for dialogue. And we're gonna say, try it. Hello, who are you? Let's see what it actually says. Hello, I'm a language model developed by OpenAI designed to respond to user input by generating text. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to know how to cook a butter chicken in Italian style. Okay, let, let's try that. How to cook a butter chicken Italian style. Let's see if it knows how to do this. Oh, there we go. It's a popular dish from India and Italian style would like to refer to adaption of the dish with Italian ingredients. There you go, cooking techniques. To cook butter chicken Italian style, you could try the following recipe. So onion, garlic, basil, oregano, paprika, cumin, coriander, uh, parmesan cheese together with your cumin and coriander. Look at this. It's giving me the full ingredient list, the full instructions, right as we go. Traditional Indian spices with Italian ingredients to create a unique take on butter chicken. Fascinating, isn't this amazing? I could say, actually, make it uh, Greek style instead. You get the gist, right? Let's just cancel that. Let's say you need to write a report. I mean, let's say you work in technology for whatever reason and you need to write a report on the latest cybersecurity threats that are impacting the finance industry. Write me a report about the latest cybersecurity threats impacting the finance industry. Well, it's a prime target for the cyber attacks due to sensitive nature of the information. Write me the opening introduction summary of this report. There you go, it's now gonna give me an introduction to this specific item. Now you could ask yourself, is this plagiarism? Well, no, it's not. Because all you're doing is the same as if you're working in a company and you go and hire somebody to write a report for you. Well, you're just hiring, you're using the AI. 
to, you know, to actually do the report for you. Write me a computer script in uh, VB to automatically shut down my computer every day at 3 p.m. Let's see what it's gonna come up with. Here's a script in VB, Visual, Visual Basic. Look at that. Now, is there a better way that you could write this? Perhaps. Can you rewrite this to make it simpler? Let's see if it actually can. Here's a simplified version of the script that will automatically shut down your computer every day at 3 p.m. Here we go. Look at this. I mean, I, I am blown away at this sort of thing. I mean, it's, it's doing elements of your job for you. Write me a song. Here's a song called In My Dreams. First one, every night I close my eyes and I'm transported away to a world where everything is perfect in every single way. So nice, so beautiful. Write me twinkle, twinkle, little star in the theme of Metallica. How I rage with every guitar up above the world so high like a flame burning in the sky. In the world of pain and strife, you shine brighter than a thousand knives with a power that cannot be tamed, twinkle, twinkle, little star remain. Hey, if you are not seeing the power that this has got, like seriously, crazy, write me a news article about the end of the world in the style of the matrix. The world as we know has come to an end in a final showdown between man and machine. Irony, right? I'm talking to a machine right here. Tell me a Star Wars story set in the Mario universe. Fascinating. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, there was a land known as the Mushroom Kingdom. The magical kingdom was ruled by the benevolent Princess Peach and was home to a diverse cast of characters, including Mario, Luigi, and friends. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. The end of this tale marks the beginning of a new adventure as Mario and his friends join forces with the Rebel Alliance to continue the fight against evil and bring peace to the galaxy. So in short, you can have a lot of fun with this thing. I mean, it's incredibly powerful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You've got three things to do right now. The first is to subscribe down below my channel, Tech with Emilio. The second thing is to go and try chat GBT for yourself. And then the third thing, come back, Comment down below what you have been doing. Let me know what you've been experimenting with and the odd and incredible and amazing things that you've been getting out of it. Now stay tuned for the next video where we continue talking about all things tech.